radicalism on display. A few days ago in Portland, Oregon, a so-called peace rally featured masked American haters who chanted things like, no gods, no country, no masters. They also burned the American flag and effigies of American soldiers, if you can believe it. All the while chanting, fascist wars are nothing new. It's not just Bush, the soldiers too. Now, this disgusting display was given a happy face by the committed left Oregonian newspaper, which mentioned the radicalism, but said overall the protest was, quote, family friendly, unquote. Yeah, if you're the Sopranos. Now, this kind of exposition could not have happened four years ago in America, even in ultra-liberal Portland. Mass hoodlums running around disrespecting USA would have been confronted by the media and perhaps by people on the street. But Iraq has changed everything in this country. According to a new Wall Street Journal poll, only 43% of Americans believe the USA should take military action against Iran if it develops a nuclear weapon. An astounding 47% of us say, let Iran have the nukes. It's not worth a fight. Again, four years ago, inconceivable. The chaos in Iraq has had so many unintended consequences, I can't even list them. But there is no question, the USA has turned to the left and that the radical left is now emboldened. The Iraq war has deflated the Bush presidency, led to an unprecedented rise in left-wing activist journalism, and caused our enemies abroad great joy. Iran would never have seized 15 British sailors four years ago. It would not have happened. But today, Iran believes the West is weak and are daring us to act. The rise of the radical left element inside America and the continued hatred of the jihadists abroad present a very troubling danger to every American. When you have people in masks burning our soldiers in effigy, when you have websites encouraging violence against the vice president, when you have a corrupt, hate-driven media, you have some problems. The disgrace in Portland last weekend is a warning. These loons are no longer a sideshow, ladies and gentlemen. They're doing damage. And the question is, will everyday Americans do anything about them? And that's a memo.